Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. Canadians will have to wait until at least early August and maybe as late as early September to legally purchase recreational marijuana. Senators have struck a deal to hold a final vote by June 7th on the legislation that will usher in the legal cannabis regime. The Alberta Cannabis Framework was developed following extensive public and stakeholder engagement to best achieve four policy priorities for cannabis legalization in Alberta. An act to control and regulate cannabis passed on November 30, 2017 to empower elements of the framework through legislation, which are largely in the form of amendments to the Gaming and Liquor Act. The amendments will do three things provide authority for the Alberta Gaming and Liquor Commission to carry out oversight and compliance functions as well as manage the distribution of cannabis, establish the authority to carry out public online sales, and to license privately owned and operated cannabis stores with strong oversight and province-wide rules, and to establish provincial offenses related to youth possession public consumption and consumption of cannabis in vehicles. Bill 6. The Gaming and Liquor Statutes Amendment Act was introduced on April 9, 2018 to propose additional amendments to the Gaming and Liquor Act to further prepare Alberta for the legalization of cannabis. If passed, the amendments would prohibit naming and branding cannabis retailers and products with terms and symbols that have medicinal connotations such as therapeutic or medicinal, increase the maximum administrative fines for infractions of the Gaming and Liquor Act and regulation from $200,000 to $1 million, allow a court to rely on a law enforcement officer's ability to infer that a product is cannabis based on its packaging, labeling or smell, for the purpose of offenses under this act, mirror the current practice for alcohol and tobacco, and create an offense to enable enforcement against an owner or operator of a premises who allows smoking or vaping of cannabis where it is prohibited similar to existing rules for alcohol and tobacco. Anyone who wants to run a weed shop will first undergo an exhaustive check ranging from tax records to mob ties. The regulations underpin legislation passed last November by Alberta that puts the minimum age to buy and use recreational cannabis at 18 with private retailers selling marijuana over the counter while the province runs the online sales. Operators will have to put down a $400 non-refundable application fee and a $3,000 deposit for the records and background check. If they are approved for a license, that is another $700 for the first year. Investigators will do a criminal background check on an applicant along with a check of tax records for the last three years. There will be checks on company directors and on who is backstopping any related loans, along with interviews to confirm key points. The process could take two to four months. Convictions such as trafficking or producing illegal drugs, or associations to organized crime or violence will make an applicant ineligible for a retail license, but a candidate will be eligible to run a cannabis store if he or she has a past minor criminal conviction for marijuana possession. Stores will be allowed to be open from 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. and will have to be 100 meters away from schools and health care facilities. Municipalities will have the option to amend those rules. Employees also will have to get background checks and take an online workshop on topics such as health risks from marijuana and how to handle difficult customers. One business entity will not be allowed to own more than 15% of the stores, but the government may revisit that figure as it gets a better handle on what the marketplace will look like. The stores however will only be allowed to sell cannabis and related paraphernalia. The cannabis must be in a locked display case accessible only by staff. 
There must be security measures in place including alarms and video surveillance. Minors are not allowed in the stores, even if accompanied by an adult. The stores cannot sell more than 30 grams of dried cannabis, that's about 40 joints, to any customer at any one time. 30 grams is the maximum amount the feds will allow any person to have on their person while in public. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.